And the reason why I'm calling it Christ-like preaching is because many of the things that modern Christianity today would would denounce or have a problem with, they would say, you know, you need to be more Christ-like, right? And we're going to look at some of those things, and we're going to see, well, what is Christ-like preaching? Are, are the things that people have a problem with when they come to a, a fundamental Baptist church, and when they hear the preaching, is it Christ-like or not? And is their idea or perception of who Jesus Christ was and how he preached and the things he said, do, do they have the right understanding? Do they know who Jesus is and do they know much about him other than just showing up to church, being spoon-fed, whatever it is that the preacher is going to tell you, and then nothing else. You're not reading the Bible on your own. You're not hearing many portions of Scripture because so many people are just, you know, choose their favorite topic to, to preach on and that's it. Or they're preaching out of their heart and they're not giving you any actual Bible. We're going to dig in and look at the scripture and see are the things that many people get offended at, are the things that many people get troubled with, are they Christ-like or not? What you're going to find throughout the scripture when it comes to biblical preaching, you're going to find bold preaching. Boldness is characterized by all preachers of God. Boldness meaning they're willing to say the thing, to, to preach the truth, say the things that need to be said, preach the things that need to be preached, preach the word of God regardless of the consequences. That's what, that's what shows you that someone is preaching with boldness. It's easy to be bold when there's just no consequences at all, right? I mean, anyone, it, it's, it's not a very, let me put it this way, it's not a very bold statement to say, is it the, the the weather? No, not just is it. The weather today is beautiful. Oh, Pastor Burson, you have so much boldness to stand up there and say the weather today is. I mean, you didn't even say is the weather today beautiful. You said the weather today is beautiful. That's bold. No one has a problem with that. You don't need to have this great boldness to make a statement or make a claim like that. The boldness comes from the statements, the authoritative statements that are going to cause division and cause problems with some people. That's why you need the boldness to even say things, because you're going to receive opposition from what's being said, from what's being spoken. So you're going to find bold and authoritative statements throughout the scripture of, of, of men of God who are preaching the word of God. There's no beating around the bush in the Bible. Okay, I'm not talking about the burning bush. I'm talking about... You know, not actually saying what you mean. When you see the preachers in Scripture, you're going to find them saying what they mean and meaning what they say. You're going to find plain and easy to understand teaching. Just, just made simple, spelled out for you. 